Okay, so um, this first one is an abbreviation question for tablespoon. And guys, sometimes you have questions, you're like, why do I need to know this? Well, what's going on here? Well, this is one of those you, you need to know. It'll change the way um, food is prepared big time. And a lot of you are going to be getting to the point where you're preparing food and you need to know the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon and what that looks like. So you need to get the right answer here. And uh, there are ways to find that right answer. I'm telling you, um, you can simply look it up. I, I, I wouldn't fault anybody for looking that up if you're unsure. But tablespoon, you need to know what that's, that is. It's not going to say tablespoon on the actual spoon for the measurement. The measurement tool you would use when you are cooking or preparing um, and you're looking at the um, at the when you're looking at the recipe you know if it says a tablespoon you need to know which which tool to use so please look that up the correct abbreviation for that because it will be abbreviated on whatever tool you're using um, look at number two it says circle the words that have the same sound as F in fall so if you say the word fall out loud Say it out loud right now. Fall. You're looking for words that have the same sound. It doesn't matter if they're spelled the same way. You're looking for the same sound. It doesn't say look for words that have an F in it. It says the same sound. So keep that in mind too. The same sound. All right? Um, and then correct these sentences. Okay, here we go. All right, we've got Kansas City represented here. Kansas City, Kansas though. We're leaving for Kansas City, Kansas on the 6 o'clock train. Now, we have got something I want to point out. The word o'clock. That is actually a, a contraction for of the clock. And let me type that in. Because uh, this is something that we don't think about much. Make that a little bit bigger. Make the color red. How about that? Okay, so of the clock of the clock that's what that is a contraction for and i'm going to draw an arrow to it just so you are paying attention here okay of the clock so they have combined all that and put o'clock so that means we need punctuation there and that means we need a an apostrophe somewhere in that word so please look that up if you're unsure and let's get that right also there are some obvious capitalization issues we have here we've got um, another contraction in this sentence that you need to look for which means you're going to need another apostrophe um, and we have a comma that we need in this sentence a comma's got to go somewhere in here it's one of the most basic comma rules so please you need two apostrophes and we got to we got to get that comma in there in the right spot now let's look at number four tammy shouted Keep away from that broken bottle. I'm going to point this out. It says, Tammy shouted. The word shouted is going to tell us what kind of impunctuation we need. Now, also, it's telling us somebody's saying something. There's dialogue. And when we have dialogue, guys, what punctuation do we need? What are those things called? We have the speech tag. So what do we need to do? Now remember, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm just going to tell you, after a speech tag, you need a comma. And then you need to have certain punctuation around whatever it is that person said. In this case, Tammy's shouting it. So keep that in mind, again, for your end punctuation. And then down at the bottom, number five, synonyms or antonyms. Well, guess what? You can't do this unless you know what a synonym is. A synonym means the same. And an antonym means opposite. Now, a lot of people say this. They think an antonym means uh, different. It doesn't. It means opposite. And a synonym means the same. Okay? The two words are relative and kin. K-I-N. If you don't know what that means, you need to look it up. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to have you look that up. If you look it up, you will immediately know the answer to this question okay ask me any questions as needed um 
but make sure you take your time with this and everything that I've said in this video uh, should guide you to the right answers.